Uh, we got one of the newest Yankees right here, Willie Calhoun. Dude, thanks so much for hopping on the feed. And are you ready to check out some of your top performing social media posts? Yeah, I am. I'm excited. We got a throwback. Yeah, I think that was my uh, machine pitch uh, Little League team for my first team. And yeah, so I happened to be the Rangers. Uh, obviously, spent some time in that organization, but I'm excited to be here. Yeah, you still look pretty good too, man. You didn't really age that uh, that bad. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> um, I still look the same, I think. Everyone still confuses me and thinks I'm a lot younger than I am. But And it's hard to believe when I tell them my age. But I mean, yeah, that's uh, I still look the same, the exact same. Right here, you're a big leaguer, but you're also kind of small in this picture. You got the MLB mini treatment. Yeah, um, <laughs> honestly, that's how I feel every single time I step on the field. I look around and you see a whole bunch of, you know, large humans. So, uh, especially on this team, you walk around like Judgey, Stanton, even DJ. Like those dudes are huge, and then I feel like just like the miniature, like the little guys. So, um, it's cool though. All right, baby. Next one, dude. Not that many people get a chance to do this. But this is a stadium that's being built, and you got a chance to take some BP there, man. That was pretty sweet. Yeah, that was um, as like they were like starting to build like the new stadium for the for the Rangers, and uh, they let a few of us go on the field and take BP on it before like they put like the actual like grass and everything in it. So that was pretty cool. And this is another fun memory that you got while over in Dallas. You're at a hockey game. Yeah, that, I think that was for like a caravan, and you know every. Every year in the off season, like you know, four or five of us go around to uh, the Stars games, the Maverick games, um, the Texas Tech, and I mean, uh, the, that was a hockey one, and that was a cool experience. Which is wild too, because if you look closer, it's you, Trevino's there, yeah, IKF, and now yeah. you guys are here playing together also. Yeah, it's definitely cool. Tell everybody about this picture right here. That was in uh, Memphis, I believe, in I don't know, eighteen or nineteen, and. Um, I don't even, I think I use that to like, cause I like to sleep and you know, rest before games. And I kind of like use that as like the bed and just threw a few towels down and it was comfortable. So I figured I'd just take a pic. I don't even know what I posted that on. When you're not on a, on a towel inside yeah. the clubhouse, you do get a chance to relax with a very nice view. Yeah, that was uh, me and my fiance. We went to, that was in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. And you know, it's beautiful out there. The beach is there unbelievable and you know i just decided to take a pick and um enjoy the view yeah yeah it doesn't get any better than that right there you're here right uh with the alex verdugo one of your boys he's got a lot of chains are we ever going to see this amount of chains on you because we've seen some so far mm. but he's got some pretty good ice yeah no you won't see me <laughs> as much as uh alex um he loves it uh I, I mean i love jewelry too but i'm just like a simple guy i don't like to be like too too flashy or anything like that. I like to be like very like low key and not not doing too much. But I mean, he loves that. I mean, and um, like I said, he's, he's one of my best friends. So I mean, he's always been like that. Can you let people know why we always see the bear, the teddy bear on all of your equipment? Yeah, I even have a tattoo of it um, on my hand. It's just, like I said, I love my sleep. So, um, and when I was a little kid, like I, I was able to go to sleep like on the drop of a dime and um, my parents always said like you like hibernate like a bear like a little teddy bear <laughs> so I've always had like the bear like thing connected to me and then Osito means little bear in Spanish and that's been my nickname um, for a while now and it's kind of fitting yeah. amazing so uh, we all know now so I like that description we got the tiger on the shirt and we got the chain right here so you do have some really good style off the field yeah kinda like we were talking about before yeah it's just that was um at one of my teammates like like movie launch or something like that um i think it was delina the shields yeah that was like a San sonic the hedgehog like uh, movie launch um but yeah like it was just like a clap just like a put together just like go out with the boys like type fit yeah yeah i love it man all right right here so this is what your truck looks like now this is what it looked like before but dude this is nice yeah, I don't. I don't have any more though. Oh, yeah. Where is it? Yeah, I, I traded that one in. Um, I got another car with it. Uh, I don't. I don't have the, the truck for me. Was just too big and um, it was hard to park. So I just. Uh, I was like, I don't really. You know, when you're looking to park your truck somewhere, you have to like kind of park far away so no one doesn't ding in or anything. So especially in New York City, too. Yeah, imagine trying to park this year. Yeah, it's it's extremely hard. Like I said, and um, I just figured I'd get a smaller car and. 
rock with that. Did the matte finish boost the value at all? Um, no, but I mean, <laughs> I love that. I love that color, so um, I get that on like, you know, on all my cars. I get amazing. Yeah. We see all your social media posts. You're a fun dude, like you said. You're like a teddy bear, soft spoken, love to nap. What would you say is your favorite part about social media? Um, just because like you can connect with like your friends from back home. Maybe you don't see as much. Um, Cause like I said, I don't really go back home too often. And when, so I feel like social media kind of like connects um, all of you and your boys from, or you and your friends in general from back home. And um, you can like, kind of like catch up with them without, you know, speaking to them every single day and um, kind of just like keep you in the loop in a way. Do you love it? And why should everybody out there watching this follow you? What do you have to offer? Um, honestly, on social media, um, I don't do too. I don't post too much. Uh, I just, you know, post like every once in a while, and it's just, it's usually of uh, me and my fiance doing something like at a dinner or something, or she'll like tag me in something. I'll just like repost it. But um, other than that, I mean, I feel like uh, sometimes I'm, you know, pretty fun to follow. But I mean, I don't really do. I don't really do too much on social media. I kind of just stay especially during the season i kind of uh -huh. like just stay away from it and just uh like i said every once in a while i'll post here and there all right yeah. we'll shoot out your handle so everybody knows where to go to follow you yeah it's just uh 11 willie calhoun just that's been uh, my handle ever since i made it so yeah i try to keep everything the same dude my man thank you so much for yeah. on feed brother thank you appreciate it